ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help. All right, everyone, we will start. Um, I have to go through the script, so bear with me. I am Christine Dashta, chair of the Office of Finance Committee, and I'm calling the April 24th, 2024 meeting of the Finance Committee to order. This meeting is being conducted in the hybrid format consistent with the rules of state law promoting remote participation in public meetings. Oh, I will sure. now call attendance to confirm that we have a quorum and to confirm that all present in person and via Zoom can hear me and each other. When I call out your name, please respond in the affirmative, starting with Jordan. Here. Jennifer. Here. Sophie. Carolyn. Here. Rebecca. Here. Josh. Here. Michael. Charlie. Here. John. Here. Daryl. Here. Yanni. Here. Uh, Al Jones. Here. Topher. Here. Peggy. Here. Al Tosti. Here. Grant. Here. Dean. Dave. Here. And our executive secretary. Karen. Here. This meeting is being conducted simultaneously in, in person and over Zoom and is being recorded. For those attending remotely, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. And everyone, please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda unless the chair notes otherwise. Ensuring public access to hybrid meetings does not ensure public comment or public participation. This meeting will not feature public comment. Those wishing to provide comments may do so by emailing our executive secretary, Tara Bradley at tbradley at town.arlington.ma.us. Lastly, as required by law, each substantive vote taken at this meeting will have to be done by roll call. All right, with that, let's start uh, with the minutes of the 25th. Okay. This is when the schools came in. Everyone had a chance yeah. to look at that. Does anyone have any revisions to the minutes? No, spell my name right. <laughs> That's all that counts. So it's what I noticed too. Do I have a motion to approve approval? Minutes? Is there a second? Second. second. All right. Um, all right. We'll take a vote. Um, Jordan? Jordan? Sorry. Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Sophie? Here. Carolyn? Yes. Rebecca? Yes. Josh? Yes. Michael? Here. Charlie? Here. Uh, yes. Uh, John? Yes. Daryl? Yes. Annie? Yes. Alan Jones? Yes. Topher? Yes. Peggy? Abstain. Not there. Mm -hmm. Altosti? Yes. Grant? Yes. Dean is not here. Uh, David? Yes. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four things in affirmative and no negatives and one abstention. <laughs> Um, a minute. Um, we need to we need to consider a couple of things. Um, one is a very minor language change to vote in Article sixty-one and sixty-three. I think everyone seen that. Um, Ida being Ida and very conscientious, uh, talked to the Department of Revenue and, and they suggested that this language be tweaked to read said sums to be utilized um, to reduce the tax rate rather than our vote, which was to be utilized in the termination of the tax rate. Mm -hmm. So any comment questions on that? Mm -hmm. okay. Do I have a... Open. Do I have a motion to so move. second? <laughs> Check that reconsider. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um, 
we'll do a motion to reconsider Article 61, 63, and then we'll do the motion to um, amend the language of the vote. So all in favor of motion re reconsideration say aye, starting with Jordan. Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Yeah, Carolyn? Yes. Rebecca? Yes. Josh? Yes. Okay, Charlie? Yes. John? Yes. Daryl? Yes. Annie? Yes. Al Jones? Aye. Topher? Yes. Peggy? Yes. Al Tosti? Yes. Grant? Aye. Shusha. 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 Aye. David? Yes. yes. All right, is there a motion yeah. to amend those two votes? So I'll move. Second. 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 All right, all in favor say aye, starting with Jordan? Yes. Jennifer? Aye. Sophie's not here. Carolyn? Aye. Rebecca? Oh, aye. Directions. Uh, Josh? Aye. It's not here. Charlie? Yes. John? Aye. Daryl? Aye. Annie? Yes. Ellen Jones? Aye, aye. <laughs> Topher? Aye. Peggy? Aye. Al Tosti? Yes. Grant? Aye. Dean and David? Aye. Seems like people are punchy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some of us just follow instructions. Others are following. Some of us are rebels. <laughs> That's true. All right. So, um, all right. The other That's article that I want for us to think of or discuss whether we want to reconsider is the prudent investor article. Before we talk about that, I just want to talk about um, scheduling mm -hmm. so that the rest of this meeting we can deal with the fruit and investor article. Um, so um, first of all, expect the default will be, we're gonna meet every Monday and Wednesday, mm -hmm. unless you hear from Tara otherwise. Mm -hmm. Whether we meet next Monday, I think will depend on whether we include the fruit and investor warrant article today. And if we wanna continue the discussion, then we'll do it on Monday. Um, um, on um, May 1st, Minuteman's coming in. Uh, on okay. May. I just sent the uh, presentation to you, Tara. Oh, okay. Okay, and to the moderator for the. Okay, great. No. Thanks. Um, May 6th has been set aside to do the town budgets and the capital plan. Uh, the town manager is getting all his department heads in a room. Annie? I just have a confession to make. My husband bought more Jones tickets. It's 26. Yeah. I will not be here. Okay. The other thing that we're going to do on the 6th, I expect, is um, the town manager may be close to some um, collective bargaining agreements. So um, uh, with Jim and Alan and I, uh, Alex and I have targeted May 6th as like the drop dead date for agreements. So Al Alex will get us materials for any agreements that we have the Friday before May 6th. And then May 6th when we will be here and uh, we'll talk about any agreements and then we will uh, give a vote to ratify. So, um, so May 6th is an important day. Um, and then on May 8th is the special. Um, there has there has been talk um, about doing a trial run of starting town meeting at 7.30 um, during this session. Um, if that is the case, then we would be meeting at seven. Mm -hmm. um, when I was last in these discussions, <clears throat> The thought was to do that on the 8th, but there was a lot of pushback from uh, the chair of the redevelopment board uh, on that. So I don't know where that stands, but there's a possibility that one night during the town meeting <clears throat> this time, we'll be meeting at seven, but hopefully we'll get uh, a lot of prior you know, people can try to uh, arrange their schedules. Um, Lastly, um, end of the year dinner. I'd like mm -hmm. to okay. have some volunteers. Um, and <clears throat> uh, the date I was looking at 
And um, I don't know, I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just throw that out as Monday, June 17th. So whoever wants to help organize that dinner, um, maybe aim for that. Um, but that's maybe not, if it's not that, maybe the following Wednesday or something like that. So I'm happy to help, but I am sort of out of the state for the beginning of June. But you're willing to do it. But yeah, Caroline, yeah. Yeah. All right. It can't be at my apartment. It's too small. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. All right. Thank you very much. <clears throat> we'll check back with you at some FinCom meeting before the end of town and see how the thought process has gone with that. And anyone who wants to help, <clears throat> just talk to Jennifer. And, and mm -hmm. All right. Any questions about scheduling? All right. Lastly, the prudent investor Warren article, which is 56. We voted no action because essentially we wanted a new clear investment policy for the town. The board of selectmen voted favorable action. So right now as it stands, we have two competing votes. Um, since we voted on the prudent investor article, I've had discussions with Augusta Haydock, who's the chair of the trust commissioners, mm -hmm. Julie Wayman, the treasurer, um, um, Jim Feeney, and I went before the select board um, and discussed where the differences are. Um, <clears throat> what has come about is potential compromise, mm -hmm. uh, which I think you have at, you got that. In, in your materials that Tara sent out. Essentially, um, what the select board, what, what, what the manager would like in the town treasurer is for town meeting to approve the article, but with the understanding that the town manager is going to go through this process before it's implemented, which includes a new investment policy rolled out, one in which we would have some say in this creation. So that is the potential compromise. Um, I don't know how people feel about whether that satisfies your cons our concerns mm -hmm. or whether we still want um, a disability <laughs> investment policy included first before the town, town meeting approves the uh, one. Yeah. So I guess I didn't see the um, urgency of this, mm -hmm. but but the urgency now is that there's this different vote mm -hmm. and that it's not clear what time meeting votes on it, since we've, we've had this different vote. Is that mm -hmm. the issue? So right now there's a, there's a vote of favorable action as is. Mm -hmm. um, by the select board. So that's what town meeting would vote on. That, so, and, and then we, and then town meeting has our mm -hmm. uh, um, no action vote. Right. right. Um, because there's no investment. So potentially if we continue to vote no action, we lose some power. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> Not no? necessarily. <laughs> okay. No. All right, Carolyn and then Annie. Um, I still am against Thanks. this proposal because there's, too much at stake and there's not enough work done and there's no reason why they can't go forward with that work without town meeting saying do some preparation work you're here there you know town town meeting can say go do some prep work but we're not approving this town me the warrant doesn't say they can't look into it it simply says they can go ahead and do it um and so by us saying we're concerned about that. We'll let them go do their work, but we're concerned about it until we see the work. I think says a lot about us and where we stand on things. You know, usually we give people money when they do their homework. Mm -hmm. They show up and they've done their homework. We give them the money. Nobody's done any homework. I'll stop. Annie? Yeah, so I, I agree with Carolyn and and I don't think it's a question of a power play. I think it's a question of what what is our position about what is and is not prudent here. There's they're saying they're going to do this work, this process, so on and so forth, but we can't put it in the bylaw 
or the, the warrant article um, language that they're going to do that. So I think that our no action vote is still kind of a warning through town meeting that there's something to discuss here and we'll have the opportunity to present our case in town meeting to move its choice about how they feel um, in terms of, you know, whether they trust the, the town manager and his group to do this campaign. I mean, you are perfectly capable of standing up and saying, yeah, if they follow this process, it will probably satisfy our concerns, but it doesn't really change our vote because we haven't seen it happen yet. You mentioned um, proceeding with some sort of involvement of the Finance Committee. Could that be as hard as approval by the Finance Committee? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, approval of the monthly policy. I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what the. We would be involved with its drafting. Mm -hmm. Revised draft policy would be circulated to both the Finance Committee and Select Board for review and comment. Mm -hmm. Following any necessary edits, the treasurer. In consultation with the board of commissioners would finalize the policy presentation to the town manager. And, and, and second question would this compromise be in the form of an amendment to the main motion or a substitute motion? In other words, would it be in writing? I don't think it would be in writing. I think okay, it so it's a handshake. It would be, be okay. it would be nebulous. Um, mm -hmm. the, the fallback is this memo to the town manager. Charlie. I just don't see what the rush is. Yeah. We have another town meeting in the fall or the spring. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> you have the policy done and we vote for it. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Everyone's saying what I would say, so I have nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to. Go ahead. Sorry. I just wanted to clarify what, what I think I didn't articulate well last time, uh, which is um, that. The, as the stock market's going up right now, there's kind of recency bias where you're like, oh my God, we gotta get in, we gotta get yeah, in, yeah. right? And I, I worry about that kind of impetus for, because this is a long-term investment policy mm -hmm. for many decades. Mm -hmm. And so missing a year <laughs> that exactly. may or may not grow <laughs> does not really matter. That's exactly what I said to yes. the board yeah. when I, mm -hmm. that, this, that, that we shouldn't be chasing the market. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. yeah. These, these, time these in the market, funds full should Darren. outlive us all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody else, Josh? Uh, as part of the compromise, we're, was the select board uh, encouraged to consider their position? They weren't. They 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 aren't reconsidering their position. There's they. It was clear that they were they're going to stick to their favorable. They were um, reassured by the town manager making these um, commitments mm -hmm. that nothing can happen until an updated investment policy is, is vetted and was in place. Anybody else? Well, I, 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 it seems surprising that the select board would vote in, in favor. Not really. No. Town manager. Town manager is pushing yeah. it. Yeah. But they're not us. Okay. Some of them used to be on this committee, but they're not anymore. Yeah. It's surprising they wouldn't object to that before they voted. No. Yeah. Well, they, they, they weren't expecting, they, right. And I, I, uh -huh. they, at least one member suggested that maybe they should have waited. Mm -hmm. um, but they voted, and then they found out about our no action mm -hmm. vote. And then that's why they asked yeah. me yeah. And Doug for I to, to, to explain mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. Um, and then that's out of that developed the town manager's um, compromise. Mm -hmm. So repeat the town manager's compromise again. Um, all right. Um, as soon as practicable, these policies um, would be integrated into a single policy. So right now we have mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm two investment policies mm -hmm. um, it could be integrated into a single policy that would be updated by the treasurer in consultation with the board of commissioners of trust funds and in accordance with the best practices offered by the massachusetts 
Collectors and Treasurers Association. The revised draft policy would be circulated to both the Finance Committee and Select Board for review and comment. Following any necessary edits, the Treasurer, again in consultation with the Board of Commissioners of Trust Funds, would finalize the policy for presentation to the Town Manager and Deputy Town Manager Finance Director. Upon adoption of the finalized investment policy statement, the Town would conduct a Chapter 30B procurement for investment management services via request for proposals at the end of this calendar year. Designees from both the Finance Committee and Select Board would be invited to participate in the selection process and score the various proposals received in connection with the RFP. The investment policy statement will be included with the RFP materials, but also transmitted to the chosen investment manager upon issuance of a one-year contract with two one-year options to renew. It is only at this point that the change sought by Article 56 will be effectuated for Arlington's trust funds, likely in early 2025. Who has Daryl? Um, I originally had a question about um, who would determine as soon as practicable, but it sounded later on that there was there was there was sort of a sequence of events defined in the in the compromise. So I withdrew my question. Any other questions or comments? Uh, I don't suppose they'd be willing to say the finance committee instead of uh, review approval. Take out review and put in approval. Would that um, mollify everyone else? No. That's what we're looking for. Only if it was an amendment or substitute motion that would incorporate that language. In the main I, I think... Um, that, that takes it out of the hands of the town meeting and right. I think it should be voted by the town meeting. Yeah. yeah. So I, to me, waiting six months, 10, 10 months to do this is not the end of the world. Right. And town meeting should, mm -hmm. this is, a, as you said, it's a serious long-term issue mm -hmm. and town meeting should have the uh, final say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, I'm, I don't care whether or not we have approval on the policy. Mm -hmm. I just want there to be a policy and a process for right. it. Right. For, Judging whether or not the policy has been followed and the, the process is appropriate. <laughs> it matters less that you approve. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I agree. I, I don't care about approval as much. Actually, I'm more interested in the yeah. process that there be some sort of public notice for an opportunity for the public to comment because we have right. people in our town mm -hmm. who have expertise in this area who might have an opinion and might offer insight. Right. So I'd and, like to see that. And public reporting of results and you know just some accountability, which was what we were missing for so long. Yeah. So Josh. Um, this is not my area of expertise at all, but did you find the policy lacking the, the documents that we got? There there isn't any. That's the point. There, 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 are, there, like are there is there is there, 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 they just need to be updated. Yeah. Yeah. I mean uh, you they're know pretty loose. Different sector. Yeah. They're, well, they're, I don't they're, know. It's I not couldn't. the policy being loose, it's the Process. But it's not like there's no investment policy in place right no, now. No, well, no but they're trying to policy. replace it with a new one, right? And the new one doesn't exist. Well, yet. I, no, no, I, I that's what they're trying probably to do. disagree. I think that yeah. the the whole thing is that they want to be able to invest in a wider mm -hmm. range of vehicles. Right. Right. But the core things of putting this much in large cap, this much in fixed assets, this much in da da da. I think that's likely to kind of stay the same. It's just you're going to have greater mm -hmm. options in those categories, and they have. Mm -hmm high and low percentages for each category and stuff like that. I, I can't imagine the, the policy is going to change all that much. So it, it made it much easier for them to play around was my recollection of what I know. Well, we're, we're, we're removing the restriction of these 20 mm -hmm. equities right. and these five funds right, right. and opening up the whole world. Right, right, right. But it's got to be within those parameters that would, you know, that are set in the policy. Yeah. Not necessarily. I, we well, have just a few okay. more minutes, um, Annie. Just that that the thing that some of us remember is that there was a policy and there was a person in charge of investments. There was no public process, and there was no oversight of that person. And that's what I don't see yet. I want to know how they're going to the town manager, the select board, or Alex, or somebody mm -hmm. is going to review results 
And that's the treasurer's chair. Process. I think that's in the. That, uh, it know. is. It's in. It's I in the. It's in there. I'd like more time to reread what the. Past, it was the treasurer's job. The treasurer screwed it up, but there was nobody in charge of the treasurer. Yeah, that's so right. I want the defined steps the chain of command is going to take to oversee the treasurer. There is also we're talking about trust funds. Yes, um, I get it. And we have the trust fund commissioners and right. other boards and commissions who are also the second eyes. Um, right. I do. So, so we have in their process. I need to be more mollified. So the question I have is: is do we? Mm -hmm. it, is it worthwhile to have any more discussion on this, mm -hmm. or are we ready to decide whether you want to stick with our uh, stand or not? I move that we vote to stick with our stand. To reaffirm, to reaffirm mm -hmm. our stand. Well, oh, see what the vote is. <laughs> we'll see how the reconsideration yeah. fails. Yeah, then then we stay with oh, our stand. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So do you, yeah. you want Carolyn? Do you want to make a mm -hmm. motion for reconsideration? Yes, I, I move that we reconsider. Second. Second. So we have All right, we will take a vote to reconsider fifty-six. Um. All right, starting with Jordan. Yes. Jennifer. Yeah. So he's not here. Carolyn? Yes. You want to reconsider? Sure. What the heck? All right. Rebecca? No. Josh? Yes. Michael's not here. Charlie? No. Yes. John? No. Daryl? No. <clears throat> Excuse me. No. Annie? No. Al Jones? No. Sofa? No. Peggy? No. Al Tosti? Yes. Grant? No. Um, Dean's not here. David? No. Four in favor of reconsidering. Eleven opposed. And no abstentions. That's what I got. All right. So the motion to reconsider fails and we stick with our original. Okay. As far as two thirds right? No, reason. I think the time meeting now for us. I don't think so. Okay. All right. All right. Well, um, all right. So um I I don't see any need for us to meet on Monday. Okay. 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 Great. We're just gonna be doing select board and the development. Okay. Yeah. I just want you to notice so that you know, ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com slash ACMI to learn how you can help.